How to upload PDFs and chat with Perplexity AI. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. We will showcase Perplexity AI and once you actually upload a PDF and how it actually can respond to this um, uh, PDF basically and what we can what we can actually achieve when we upload a PDF to Perplexity AI. So basically, if you didn't know, Perplexity AI is a platform where you can just go in and ask AI anything, just like chat GPT. But we also have the option to upload a file such as a PDF. It could be a book or it could be any type of PDF. And you can actually summarize it, ask AI um, anything about the actual book or the PDF itself. And it's actually going to find answers for you from within the file itself. So how do we actually go ahead and get started? First, sign up for Perplexity AI for free. Uh, just go to perplexity.ai and just sign up for free. And then you should find yourself in this homepage. From this homepage, you'll be able to just go ahead and start asking um, any questions normally like you would in here. But what we are going to be doing instead is click on attach. So I'm just going to click on attach. And also the free version does give you three per day. So you can attach three pdf files uh, each single day so we can actually just go ahead and attach one so click on attach and then just find one i did download this sample pdf file from uh, a small pdf and let's just see how it works so just go ahead and double click on it and it should say uploading and then here we can actually see a few um example searches here that we can actually go for but this is not really related. We can actually just go in and start doing something else. For example, ask, uh, summarize uh, this PDF and then just hit enter. And you can actually see the answer to this uh, exactly like you would expect it to be. I mean, the PDF that I have is quite small. It's just only one page and it doesn't really have a lot because at the end of the day, it's a sample PDF. But you can actually go ahead and achieve much greater things with this because you can actually upload entire books. And from that, you can ask, ask a lot of different questions related to that book, uh, like specifics when it comes to chapters. You can ask um, to uh, who is the author of this book. You can ask many different things, and it's just going to give you answers accordingly to the file that you uploaded. And you can always just go ahead and go to library and you'll be able to find the answers of the um, questions that we asked. And we also can see the related questions about the document itself. So what are the main features of small PDF? Uh, well, how does small PDF enhance document management? Can I access small uh, my small PDF files on multiple devices and so much more? And it's going to actually give us answers to those questions if we click on them. So as you can see, and those answers, by the way, are not from the internet. They're actually going to be derived from the PDF itself that we uploaded, which is a great thing. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. You can try it out. I believe the maximum file size is 10 megabytes, if I'm not mistaken. So just go ahead, grab a book, a PDF, upload it and start asking questions. And it's going to work well for you. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.